Hello, my name is Mr Reynolds and I'm the Executive Principal at Concert Academy. These are indeed strange times where we find ourselves having to work in a very different way. So you will find me addressing you via a video rather than in person. Choosing a school for your child is one of the most important decisions any parent makes for their child. I'm delighted and feel privileged that you have chosen Concert Academy and have trusted us with your child's education. We take our responsibilities very seriously and are proud to live and work by our vision of Students First. I can assure you every decision we take is always with our young people's interests at heart. Over the years we have grown our values which are shared by everyone who is part of Concert Academy. They have been developed by all our stakeholders, students, staff, parents and governors. We take them very seriously and they through, run through all aspects of our school life. I hope the following presentation gives you a flavour of what your child can expect when they join us, answers any questions you might have and reassures your child. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I look forward to welcoming you personally in September. Goodbye. Hello. I'm Mrs Somerville, Director of Skill for Concert Academy, and together with the rest of the staff, we are here to support your child through their journey with us in the Academy. Three key people who you will come to know over the next year and beyond are Mr Dodd, our Achievement Leader, Mrs Parker, their Year Manager, and Mr Wheelhouse, the Senior Pastoral Manager. Together with the tutors, they will come to know your child individually and work to support them in opportunities beyond the classroom and academically. We believe that any work and any success is a union between home and school. And we try to keep in touch with you on a daily basis through class charts where students will be rewarded with regard their behaviour and their attitude in school and on the virtual learning environment where we will post letters, information and students will be set their homework. It is important that we do keep you informed and as I've mentioned earlier, you will be able to ask any questions of our achievement leaders and the year manager throughout your time with us in the academy. If your questions are subject related, then please feel free to contact our head of subjects whose information is on our website. We believe that it is important to keep in touch in many different ways with you as parents throughout your child's time with us in the Academy. On this slide you will be able to see several different opportunities that are offered from text messages to phone calls to written reports to progress reports to parents consultation evenings where you can come in and talk about your child's progress and opportunities that are being offered to them on a regular basis. If there are times in which you would like further information, then please do not hesitate to get in touch with us and find out the information that you wish to. Whilst I have mentioned all of the different ways in which we try to keep you informed, there are two ways in which you can at any time gain access to information about the Academy. One, from our website and two, from our Facebook account. We love to share the things that our students are doing on a daily basis via our Facebook account. If you haven't already liked us on Facebook, then please do so, so that you will be kept informed and find out what is happening in the Academy and all of the amazing things our students do. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Mrs Potter and I'm an Assistant Principal at the Academy in charge of behaviour and welfare. And what I'm going to talk to you about is a few of the practicalities for starting with us in, at the Academy. The first thing I'd like to talk about is uniform. Now, we do have a clear uniform policy and you can see that in the handbook and on the website. And we do expect students to wear the correct uniform every day. However, given the current situation, we will amend our expectations for the first month of starting at the Academy due to the fact that a lot of you I know will want to try on the blazers and the PE tops for, for size. So while we still expect all students to come to us with the correct trousers and or skirt and the correct shirt, we won't expect them to have all have blazers or the correct PE top. 
For PE, what we do ask though is that you have a plain blue, white or black t-shirt and blue or black sports leggings and trousers. Um, you are still able to buy the uniform direct through the supplier that's on the slide here, um, but we will be understanding for the first month given the current situation. Next up, we have our dining arrangements. And in terms of food, students are able to purchase food um, before school, at break time and at lunchtime. We do operate a cashless system and you're able to top up your child's account um, using parent pay or they're able to bring money in and top it up using our revalue machines. Um, the advantage is that if you use parent pay, you are able to track what they're spending and on what they're spending. Um, but students can top up using the revalue machine. Um, our catering service is provided by Mellors and they're more than happy to discuss any di dietary requirements um, that your child might have. If you email us um, on the email below to inquiries, we'll be able to put you in touch with the, the correct person at Mellors and you'll be able to discuss that in advance of your child starting at the academy. For a lot of students, getting to the academy will be different to how they travel to their primary school. And we have students come in a variety of ways. Um, for those that come on the bus, the school transport is administered through Durham County Council, so you will need to contact them. Um, we have students that walk, uh, get dropped off by car, by bike. Um, but whatever way the students travel on the first day, they'll all walk down um, and enter through the student reception, which is at the side of the academy, and they'll meet in the atrium. Here we've got a typical school day and on the first day at the academy, students will spend time in, with their tutors and they'll get their timetable. And it will be different to their primary school. They have lots of different lessons in the day and it will be some movement. But on the first day, tutors will take um, students around the building and allow them to find and work out where their lessons are. Um, you'll see that lesson five is timetabled as Aspire. This is our daily lesson where we look at skills and experiences that will really prepare our students for when they leave us um, every day at three o'clock or when they finish with us at 16 or 18. Here I've just provided a little equipment list because I know a lot of you've been asking what to provide your child um, for coming and starting at the academy. So you've got here some of the things that we would like your child to bring as well as some other things that would be helpful. Hopefully this has answered a lot of your questions um, and we're really looking forward to welcoming your child to the academy. Um, but as Mrs Somerville said earlier, this is very much a partnership with yourselves and communication is the key here. So if you've got any queries, please just drop us an email um, and thank you very much for your time.